I don't think many people play this list, so I don't know how optimal this build is, but I had a hell of a good time playing it the last time we played it, so I figured... Oh, sorry, had to cough. Uh, I figured we would play, you know, as I stated yesterday, the quote-unquote season, or, ro or not rotation, but like new sets being added soon. It's going to change stuff up, so... Trying to play some of our fan favorite decks for now. If we do, you know, if we don't get the full five games in, I'll go to Arena and play a few more games of something. But uh, we're just going to jump into it and see how it goes. Um, in general, I kind of like the traditional Boros matches, and I liked the green-black matches back in the day. But, like, green-black has changed a lot. And I think green black might be a little bit difficult now. So it'll be kinda interesting. Just love Niv Mizzet. I like the fact that we have eight ways between the hordes and the fire bloods to uh try to pump it up. And I got some foil fire bloods at a heck of a good deal this week, so for my shop. I think thinking about keeping them for myself. But it <laughs> just it just really made me want to give the deck a try again. Really made me want to give the deck a try again. I'm still not sold on like these dragons, but there may just not be better dragons. I'll probably side them more out side them out way too much. Got good news from Mana Traders this time for anybody who cares. Um, let's pull up their Twitter and read exactly what it says while we have a little bit of time. Ooh, Yuki Ichikawa is playing a pretty sweet looking red black deck today. I think it's kind of similar to Jim Davis's list. But they said. Over the past year, we have made many improvements. We are now excited to announce that with MTGO Ravnica Allegiance, we're launching next day rentals. So we're not going to have to wait the week and a week and a half this time. We're going to be able to jump straight in and start playing brews or like uh, submitted decks from users, 5-0 lists. But we're going to be able to jump straight in. You have to have three-month loyalty to get this perk, obviously because of low stock. But, you know, we've got like 16 month perk or something so it's pretty hot so pretty excited for that and uh don't forget for anybody who cares next wednesday um the 16th we are sponsored by wizards and giving a free unlocked account to play versus other streamers with you know for the preview event of Ravnica Guild of Allegiance. I think that's what it was called. I literally just read it and already forgot what it was called. So that's going to be pretty sweet. So I don't know how many decks or how long we'll be playing that day. And I've asked a lot of my locals to brew up some decks too. But if there's anything in particular you're wanting to watch that day, submit it. And maybe it'll make the cut. I don't, I don't want to promise anything because um, we only have X amount of time. And I don't know how many decks I'm going to get asked to play and i know i'm probably going to brew a salamander deck and i'm probably going to brew a girl deck of my own so probably going to be at least two of my own decks and i might uh try to fix up mana and play a grixis control deck or a grixis dragon deck as well since you know new shock lands is much exciting wow <laughs> we're we're going, getting close to four minutes in queue am i supposed to just be playing arena non-stop now How many people are in the competitive standard queues? <sighs> Excuse me for yawning. Down to 478. That, that's less than a legacy now. Wow. Arena's certainly crushing competitive standard leagues. It's lower than friendly popper leagues as well, but friendly popper, popper leagues have always been kind of a fan favorite format I didn't realize that many people played legacy there we 
Maybe I should stream some Legacy. Oh, well. I want to play this deck. This deck looks fun. We had fun last time. Don't really care if we lose. I guess I could load up Arena, mute the volume, and play like a White Weenie match or two in between these queues from now on, but that seems like it's really annoying, especially the way I have my setup. How hard would that be? It'd be it'd be real hard. We'd lose this chat here. We'd have to reset everything between every game. Um. All right, well, let's uh, mute the screen for a minute and pop up Arena and see if this is something that would even be viable to do in between rounds. So you guys should hear arena sounds now. I'm going to go in and turn them off if we're going to do this. I kind of like the arena sounds, but I don't want them playing while we're playing Modo, and I don't want to keep closing this. So audio. Maybe this will be no sound. Let me turn my speakers on. I don't hear any sound right now, do you guys? Can't see the chat like this, but... Alright, well... Reroll this, see if we can get a 750 of some kind. We missed. Guess we'll just jump in. We'll stick to a white weenie in between rounds because of the pure speed. We're seven minutes in the standard queue now? Well, of course, the standard queue would pop right when we begin, but we'll we'll leave that set and we'll finish this game. This hand's fine. It's nothing special. Don't care about you. It's fine. So we're going to attack here. Because if he trades that, that's good for us. I assume since they have a land world draw, we're in some pretty bad shape. But maybe they won't have the wild growth walker and we'll get lucky. That's a pretty good one for them. Kills this Benelish Marshal, which is something we really didn't want to occur. Also didn't want to draw the fifth land. The Guild Gate. Easy no blocks. Assume that just means they have another. If they keep that on top, we can probably scoop. That kind of worked out well for us.
happily trade with the branch walker at this point. Um, I know that the history would have pumped it next turn, and technically we would have had a much better play next turn. But we don't know if they have a Chupacabra. We don't know if we're going to play like this in a Jade Light Ranger. Like, we honestly just may not have got that much better of attack on this following turn. I'm pretty sure I would trade the Benelish for both of those. No, that was kind of expected. That wasn't too expected, though. Can't see the chat at all right now, which is the worst part about this. Hey, Flame Guts, what's up? Hey, Dumbo. Yeah, I just can't see the chat when we're, we're doing this stuff. They have double... Oh, they had a find. Okay. Uh, if we don't draw a Conclave for the Wildgrove Walker, we can probably scoop. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and scoop. Get to our actual match anyway. So, let's get all of that stuff on back up on the screen. And cool, we're rewarded with a mulligan. Our opponent mulliganed, at least. Yeah, it took, it took over seven minutes to get this queue. Guess I'm gonna mulligan this. Alright, I think this hand's better. Uh, don't mulligan into the turn one land or elf. That's rude. Ooh, that's actually kind of good for us. Um, uh, I think I want to use this one. Is there a mana screwed? I'm going to go ahead and pop this and hope that they can't play any spells for a while. Usually when I do that, they draw a land the very next turn, but... Well, they didn't draw a land, but... I think I want all of these cards in my hand, so no discarderino. Ooh. So we want blue blue with this. So, blue, and then red, red, red. That's not too bad when our opponent has mulliganed into oblivion. Well, not mulliganed into oblivion, but mullig they kept a six-card hand and then didn't get another land. All right, well, how do we sideboard versus the black-green stuffs? Kind of think Ritual of Suits decent versus them, but not wonderful. I think Eldest Reborn can actually be kind of good. Like, I would consider these cards, but I probably can't bring all of them in. I don't think I want the Fungals. The last time I played this, I left Fungals in because I was like, Oh, I can I can kill a merfolk in response to the trigger and have a blocker, but I'm pretty sure I was just wrong. I really want to take out these other four dragons too, like the demanding dragons and the blood wings. The blade wings? I said blood wings, but the blade wings might be okay. 
Pretty sure I'm going to take out Demanding Dragon, though. It's kind of like a 5-mana do-nothing versus the Vivian deck. I think this card might be okay. It is a legend, so like it's good versus cast down. It can provide two bodies versus um, to like double block a Carnage Tyrant, which is something you never want to do, but something you have the ability to do. And it also has the fact that the first half of it can't be cast down, or that like it's good versus a Vivian. The problem is if I don't if I don't throw those two cards away, how do we sideboard? Like, what is our worst cards here? Is it just Fault Erasure? What have you been into, by the way, Dumbo and Flame? I've not saw either of you guys in quite a bit now. I think I'm on the back foot often enough in this match that maybe I don't want these. You guys can't hear the any background noise at all, can you, from the arena game that we have up? Uh, I think this hands a keep, even though it's obviously not great. We have our mana. We have one early removal spell. There's only 25 lands in the deck. Oh, sweet. No background noise has been called. Kind of want to kill this. But we don't have anything else going on. I'm kind of afraid of damage at this point. Kind of interesting. They chose to keep a Vivian when they're missing lands. Then they chose to keep a Midnight Reaper when they didn't have a land. They chose not to keep that, which makes sense since, you know, as previously stated, they currently don't have a land. A good old ritual of soup beer right now. Ritual would be fantastic. It'd be like game winning good. But they had a land war off all this time and they've not managed to put it on the table. Oh, that's a dagger. Really didn't want them to get another land there. That's held enough back that I think I'm fine with it, but maybe I'm supposed to just block because we know they have the Vivian coming. It's a good chance I was supposed to just block there. Maybe they'll miss the land. One, two, three, four, five, six. The sad thing is I don't really want to block now, but I still think I need to block this one. If they get a land and get the Vivian in play, we probably lose. We still hit Ritual, maybe. Yeah, well, we're not dead on board. Not being dead on board is better than being dead. Let's keep that in mind. Well, 
So that card doesn't technically do anything. That, both of those cards do things. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> I have a trophy, I'm dead. I guess I'm not dead. I get to draw a card and maybe it's a cast down and then I would be alive. I also messed up. I should have used this in response to this trigger. So let's just draw a card now. Figure out my mistake. I guess we're going to kill this one. Potentially a game costing error. It's also potentially not, especially if we don't draw anything. Well, we get to draw a card. Sweet. Uh, we'll do one to that. Hey, James, what's up? Uh, well, we've played one game with it so far. This is game two. We've not even finished a match. And we've drawn three spells this game. Four spells this game, so... Uh, hard to say so far. This sucks. I kind of wanted them to be able to play the Carnage Tyrant here. Well, we're just dead. Now we drew four spells in like eight turns or something, so I can't be too upset. That's a lie, too. I forgot about this. We had five spells, didn't we? We had four spells, then we had a... We, we drew spells. I'm just going to shut up. We drew spells. I counted extremely terribly. We drew spells. Alright, well, if he's going to bring in duresses, I don't want that for sure. Maybe I'm supposed to just leave these in? I think they're a lot better on the play, too. Uh, we, we mulliganed a couple of times that last game as well. Alright, well, we keep this. Kind of want that, but I'll pass on it, I guess. This deck definitely has a lot of powerful mythics in it, for sure. I think it's worth killing that. Maybe he'll get mana screwed for the third game in a row. He did not. Uh-oh, this could be bad. Oh yeah, real bad. Let's start with this. Guess we take Carnage. Elder drawing an Eldest Reborn? Which means at the moment we're in seriously bad shape. Uh 
Oh, I'm going to play it. I don't really care if they kill it. Let's see if we hit a land. We did not hit a land. Well, we know they can kill this, which isn't good. And that's also not good. All right, well, we lose now. We don't have any outs now. We just can't beat that card. Excited for Bed Devil. That's a pretty good card for sure. And even if we did have an answer for that, we don't have an answer for it now that they've got a Vivian. We never did get to our six mana anyway. Guess maybe they'll make some wild mistake. I would count that as probably a mistake, but. It's going to be super hard to come back from this. Like, we need to draw a removal for that. We need to draw, like, a... Uh, we're just dead. Alright, well, we got hurt pretty bad. Yeah, the Arena Momir started. Alright, back to the Arena for a round, I guess. Playing a fast deck on Arena, so when our Magic Online queue pops, we're able to take it. Uh, can't see chat like this. Is there any way to just lock this? I don't think there's a way to lock that, so I'm going to have to keep moving it. I'm going to keep this hand, but it's kind of trash. It's only 19 lands in the deck, though, so... And this is basically our worst match. Is it solved? Oh. Uh. Well, I don't. I don't know. It's just Momir. I've. I've. I guess I don't know what it is. Is there a way for it not to be solved? Maybe I don't understand. Well, I'm going to attack. If he wants to use that, he can use it. He kept on one land hand. Hey, we got a queue already. That was a heck of a lot faster this time. You can't have that many Wizards Lightnings, right? And they need double spell to kill a marshal. That's not double spell. That's not good for them. So is that that is one, two, three, four. So 
So this is City's Blessing. If they don't draw lands, we can win. Oh, I doubt there's a guide. I can't imagine why they'd put a guide out. But I don't know that. All right, back to Magic Online. Let's move you back over and click you, and we get to play first. All right, keep this. Maybe the queues are going to uh, go fast enough now that we don't need that in between stuff. Sounds very good. What do they have? Alright, Shivan Fire I don't care about. Bugler I don't care about. Uh, I guess Adanto is the one I care most about. Well, that's pretty good versus Adanto. Too bad I put Adanto on the bottom. Or too bad I chose Adanto, rather. I think you just try to go as high as you can, probably. But I've not, I've not looked, so I can't say that accurately. What they play? They play the planes. Um, so I'm gonna play this, and I'm gonna play this. And we're going to tick this up. I'm going to get rid of the Dragon Sword this game. It's going to be hard for him too, Dumbo. I don't think there's a lot of value in the next set, but... So we get double blue with this. And let's hope that they didn't draw Conclave. You know, two of the cards in their hand. And both of them don't matter. They get to kill this for sure. There's no reason for me to even block, are they? No reason for me not to block either. Dragon. Could have played around Silloway, but I actually opened all my chests. I got tired of them going down. I guess he's going to take the fault erasure. Uh, 
Oh, he's just casting a thing. Let's draw a card then and deal damage. Currently have a lot of lethal threats. Alright, so they've showed us um, a Danto, a Johnny. Bring a couple of these in because of the Johnnies. I think I'm going to bring a couple of these in as well. They showed us Legion's War Thingy. Hey Sin, what's up man? Hope you're doing well. You're right, it has been a long time, hasn't it? I actually think I'm going to cut these. Because I don't want him daredeviling me. That might be the worst reason to ever cut a card, I'm not sure. Because if the logic is I'm cutting these because I don't want him to daredevil me, like, I don't want him to daredevil a contempt either. Could, could could easily be, or I don't want him to daredevil a lava coil. Could easily be the worst decision that I've made. I think Qs are going to pop quick enough now that we don't need this. Just go ahead and dump this. Uh, well, this does not have the lands to play. It's a pretty solid collection of cards versus his deck, but I don't think we can risk needing to draw basically three lands out of, like, four draw steps or whatever. If it was a 27 or 28 land deck, I might try to get ultra lucky, but we're just 25 lands. So the argument that the Sarkins on the draw could have been sideboarded out as well, because it's going to be much harder to protect them on the draw. Yeah, well, we'll keep it. Uh, I guess I have to keep that. It turns on all of our lands, so we need to make sure we play a red mana next turn in case we hit... Oh wow, they have nothing? And here I was complaining about my draw. They have actual nothing. Okay, well. Well, so far, all three sideboarded games we have played have been... Um, Basically ruined by mulligans and stuff, though I will say that my game three mulligan was fine in round one, like, the game wasn't ruined or anything, I just didn't have the right cards. Also don't know if I played properly, I think there's a good chance I was supposed to hold default until they played the Eldest Reborn, however, considering we never hit the sixth mana, I think we would have lost anyway. Um, the new set to me so far looks like it's been scaled back a little bit in power, though it does look like there's a ton of interesting cards. I especially like the Gruel cards, I especially like the, uh, uh, Mythic Mayhem. Like, for some reason, anything aggressive is a card that's, like, been making me smile lately, so I really like those aggressive things. Um... I'm also interested in trying the Bant Nexus, or 
um, top decks, or maybe even, might even be four color Nexus, so we can use the big red thing. I forget what it's called. The big red X spell, but like, uh, no, I like the card so far, and they definitely, like, get me a little creative. I really like this card. I think I like it more than I probably should. But I'm a, I'm a big fan of this card. I actually did not like the Gruel Planeswalker too much. Not because, like, it doesn't do things. Um... Like, obviously, its plus is amazing, and its minus three is pretty good, and it has a super ultra-high loyalty count, but what I didn't like about it was, I don't think it, I, I think its ultimate doesn't necessarily win the game. Um, I don't think it always gets protected, especially if you're casting it on turn four or five. Um... But the, the, the main reason I didn't really like it is, like, when I play the Gruul deck, I'm wanting to play, like, Llanowar Elf into all of these Riot cards. I want to play that Fires of Yavimai. Like, like, I just don't really see myself curving into this card. Like, to me, it's a card that I'm going to put in my sideboard, but probably not in my main deck. Because I, I kind of think I want the main deck focused on getting people dead, and I don't think I ever want to take a turn off to, like, find two creatures. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense, but that was, like, kind of my logic. Like, it's not necessarily that the card's bad. It's that I don't think it accomplishes what I want to accomplish when I play that kind of deck. Like, I remember the Old Domri, and the Old Domri was insane because you could play it on turn two, but, it, like, it was a creature removal spell. And it's, it's ultimate one games. Like, I, I feel very confident that I can ultimate this card and still lose games occasionally. And that's something I've never liked out of my Planeswalkers in general. I know, like, for example, the other day I ultimated a Johnny, and the game lasted six or seven turns, and I still lost. What is with the mana tonight on Moto? Did the update, like, mess with mana? This is wild. Sure. That's kind of interesting. Do I want to kill this? Or do I want to set up my next turn more? I think I'm going to set up my next turn. But I like the new set. Somebody, I, I said I like, I thought the new set was interesting and I liked it today. And somebody like threw a big fit at me because I had mentioned I didn't think the set had a lot of powerful cards in it. But like those two things aren't mutually exclusive. You know, I can like a set and still think it's uh, power level had been scaled back a little bit. Like you have to admit, our, our the power level of our cards have been rather insane lately. I think I'm just going to play this. Uh, blue, 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 red, red, red. If he had four mana, I don't think I would play this one this turn, but since he doesn't, I'm down. Sure, he could Assassin's Trophy it or whatever, but I get to draw a card, and then I get to play double uh, Varix if he does that. I'd have seven mana. But I'm looking forward to the set. For anybody who doesn't know, next Wednesday I have a 16-hour window with an unlocked account from Wizards of the Coast. Um, sponsored hashtag or whatever I'm supposed to say. But yeah, they're, uh, kind, they're being kind enough to give me a sponsored account with a completely unlocked... Uh, Completely unlocked with Guilds of Allegiance to play versus other streamers with. And I think that's pretty nice of them. Like, I'm pretty excited about that.
Which means for anybody that wants to see decks, they should submit a bruise or whatever if they want to see me play. Um, I can't promise that I'll play everything that's submitted because I've asked, you know, a bunch of people to submit decks, but definitely going to try to get to quite a few of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This takes seven, doesn't it? Yeah, that takes seven. Um, I guess I can start by just drawing a card. I'm just going to cast this. Well, I don't know how much of a spotlight it gets, considering they're giving one to basically every streamer who has applied. But, <laughs> but I, I will take it happily. I think it'll be real fun. It'll be on Arena. The, the Allegiance will be on Arena. Oh, they killed our friend. I kind of just want to flip this. If I flip this, I can bring Nicobolus back, right? So I flip this, bring Nicobolus back. This is still a three. So he would have to be able to kill Bolus plus this. Could just get his <laughs> Kogari back too, but nah, it's Bolus o'clock. I didn't want to play this one because he could just have fine finality and reset the entire board. So I wanted to give him something that he actually had to have like double spell to clean. He did not have double spell. So that's just game. Uh... I guess technically I'll just do this one first. But that's just game. And if we needed more damage, we drew this. And we had a point of damage with this. Alright. <clears throat> Let's see if we can sideboard better versus this deck. Still think I want at least these eight cards. I don't think I want these. Kind of don't think I want the uh, Demanding Dragons. Maybe I don't want the Eldest Reborns either. They have so many things to like get in the way of the Eldest Reborns, right? Maybe that's where I went wrong last game. Maybe it's just better to bring these in. I think it's kind of hard to protect this on the draw as well. Which means... Is there ever a world where I can just bring in Thief of Sanity? Uh... If the sanity does some things, I don't think it's good enough. No, I'm just going to submit this and try this. On the play, I might bring back in the Reborns. We 
You don't actually have a way to kill a Carnage Tyrant, but I think it's kind of hard for us to kill Carnage Tyrants in general. I also think it's hard for us to protect Sarkin. I am the great decision maker. Well, we're not versus a mirror, we're versus black green. Oh, you don't think they're good versus black green? I'm just really worried about just not being able to block and or kill a carnage tyrant ever. But you could be right. They have they have a lot of ways to kill Eldest Reborn. I, I cyborg in Eldest Reborn with the Black Green Mirror, though. Like, I've been pretty happy with it. This hand's not great, but I think it's good enough to keep. They do get too much stuff on the board, but we do have a bunch of sweepers. We might not ever have the mana for them, but we've got them. Uh-oh. Well, we can only cast one card in our hand. So I guess they're gonna take the one card we can cast, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move it around and hope they don't ever notice it. It doesn't actually move on their screen, by the way. Cause if it moved on their screen, this would be a pretty jerk thing to do. But it doesn't actually move on their screen. I have black mana, be afraid. This isn't good for me. This is uh, actively bad for me, right? Especially if they just have turn five. Friend? They don't have turn five friend. Ooh. Well, they didn't play anything that turn. <laughs> this makes my Eldest Reborns a lot better. They kept the Veraska's Contempt? Oh, I guess they're still tanking. Never mind. Thought they had chose to keep it. Well, I'm going to slam this. To clear it away in case they have Carnage next turn. It's also going to make them discard a card unless they have Vivian. If they do have Vivian, the Elder Eldest Reborn kills it, which is sweet. Sweet AF, as they say in the funny pages. That's not a bad draw. It's 
certainly just casting this again, though. You get a land of War Elf no matter what. I assume their play right now is something like go get find and get this and the branch walker out of their graveyard. Which would suck. Oh, it's just Vivian? Not sure I'm worried too much about a Vivian. Especially considering if they don't kill this now, we get this and then we get to set up our next draw so we can make sure we find a contempt or whatever. Just like whatever we want. They chose to take the one that makes us discard a spell. I find that excessively awkward. Guess I'm going to wish I had spell pierces in my deck. You can't kill both of these easily anyway. Do we want to stop here at the minimum? Could like Assassin's Trophy and Cast Down, but like I said, it's not easy. So which one are you taking first? Taking this one first. So I should scry and try to find the card I want. I don't want either of you. I don't want either of you. I'm not willing to take all of my life away. Probably only willing to do this one or two more turns. We literally found no good cards in all of that. That kind of blows my mind. All right. Uh, we draw the card before it shuffles my library. I was doing that in response to the Nicobolus trigger on the stack. One outer of those outer. Alright, I give up. We just paid like for a bunch of life. I don't really know how we paid that much life and hit actual nothing. We can't really answer that. So what do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, one, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Why well, do I want disdainful? I knew he had Carnage Tyrant. Did I really want disdainful when I knew he had this? I'm willing to believe I was wrong, but 
I, I was trying to find a way to beat the Carnage Tyrant. <laughs> I guess keeping disdainful protects Niv, like you said. I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to Doom Whisper or not. Don't Doom Whisper here? Okay. I will listen to Lars. This is definitely Lars's deck, so. The same stroke would have been good at that point then, wouldn't it? So this draws two cards or deals 10 damage to something. Um. Uh, I don't have any three mana plays, do I? I feel like I died this game. Maybe I was supposed to keep the stroke, like you said. I have to double block, don't I? Because if I don't double block, a removal spell kills me? I think I want to use this now. Uh, I don't want either of those. Guess I'm not going to use it again.
I wasn't wanting the artifact. I was just going to flip this and buy back Niv. Guess that's wrong. If they have a removal spell, I'm dead. Well, no, they're, no, I'm not. Never mind. Okay, James is telling me to stop, so maybe I'm missing something. I was just going to run back the same line. We can flip return Bolus. Or we can return Carnage. That's probably even better getting Carnage. Carnage has to be better, right? Carnage still dies to a removal spell. So if we get Carnage, he kills this, and we die to a removal spell. Because he tramples for one and deals two. If we get Niv-Mizzet, we don't die to any instant speed removal spell, because any instant speed removal spell would kill this. And if we get Nicobolus, we... Take the card out of his hand and he has to top deck and it's a removal spell. So if we were playing around a removal spell last turn, don't we have to play around it this turn too, which means we can't take the carnage? Is that right? So I'm thinking that we have to get Nicobolus or Niv Mizzet. And he didn't have a Vivian in his hand last turn, so getting Nicobolus probably gives us... The, the, getting Nicobolus top, dies to a top deck removal, but I think it's better overall. If we get the Niv-Mizzet, they can't kill... Uh, they can't kill the Doom Whisper with an instant speed removal because we'd be able to shoot this, but I think we would still die. I want, I want this one. I don't think we can get Carnage Tyrant because if they killed, if they killed Doom Whisper, we're just dead. Yeah, that's fair. But if he had either of those cards, he would have cast it last turn, right? All right, well, he didn't have a he didn't have a removal. I think we were still it's still probably right to play around a removal. All right, well, he's certainly got a removal this turn. Uh, or not, not a removal this turn. They have nothing, and they're just going to concede. I guess that was weird. Alright, we'll start with this for sure. I think I'm supposed to flip this again and just get back a big threat. I don't think any threat we get really matters at this point. They both basically win next turn. Well, not next turn. I guess I want the Niv Mizzet. I probably just want the Doom Whisper. Nah. Taking the Carnage Tyrant. If nothing else, taking the Carnage Tyrant means they can't hit a Carnage Tyrant. Or makes it. Harder for them to hit a Carnage Tyrant. I'll rephrase. I'm surprised we won that game. I'm surprised they didn't have a removal spell. Lars showed up and carried us. 
I knew I knew Lars would show up if I played uh, Grixis Dragons. This this was my plan all along, just to get the Lars to come in to sh or get Basis to come in chat and uh, teach me how to play this deck. It was it was a ploy. Well, we were so we won we're one and one versus Golgari. Surprise! We won to one where Lars won. Or where Lars was here. Uh, we gotta keep. Venom generally plays some pretty interesting decks. I really like any hand that I get a Horde Dragon in. Ooh. I'm gonna go ahead and kill this because I don't want him to have the ability to have both a removal spell and like a dive, or, or like both a curious obsession and like a dive down and a spell pierce on the following turn. I'm gonna cast this one. Is this a good match? I was terrified of this as soon as I saw him playing playing that. I cast this one because if he does have a Curious Obsession or whatever, we can Fault Erasure and cast down on the following turn. So I think it would be kind of hard for him to protect it, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm supposed to just play this so that we can Niv-Mizzet the turn after? I don't hate that. They counterspell this, though. That'd be terrible. Definitely think I want to be able to play niv Mizzet on the following turn. I'm definitely not using that on this turn, so... If they counterspell this, they don't get an attack in with that, which is kind of cool. JK. I guess I'm taking the Curious Obsession then? I don't want that. Getting to draw three cards next turn felt like it would be too much. Oh, you wanted to land? Oh, uh, wrecked. Uh, red, blue, red, blue. Red, blue. At least we can block this now. JK, we can't block this. He's got entrancing melodies. I'm just stupid. Of course, if we entrancing melodies, that means we get to kill something. Which is the best. Oh, that's a good point. Wow, I didn't even think about that. That is a pretty darn solid point. Take care, Sin. Thanks for coming by. Some never attacking here. I'm probably supposed to go ahead and draw now. Because if I hit 
a ritual, I would have used it. So I should have done this already. That was a play error by me, I think. That one was a little weird to me. So we know the last card in their hand. Oh, they're scooping. They had to have two more turns to steal our bolus. This match seems a lot better than I would have thought it was. Um, I don't think I want these. I guess I have to bring in these. I kind of want those as well. I don't think I want Spell. I don't think I want Reborn. It costs a whole lot of mana. The same as I don't know if I want Contempt. I think it costs too much mana. Being able to cast Contempt and spend my entire turn to get Dive Down doesn't feel good. Or my entire turn to get, uh, like, Siren, Storm Tamer, or whatever. I think this is how I want a sideboard. Though... I gotta be honest, I'm tempted to just like bring to this uh, Thief of Sanities in over the Demanding Dragons because they block a little easier. It's probably not right. Demanding Dragon doesn't feel good here, though. I think this is what I want to try. I, re I really want Demanding Dragon to be a good card. Uh, I think this hand's a keep. We have a way to stop us from getting turn one obsession in this. Oh. And then we have a lot of removal and a discard spell. In general, this is like basically the type of hand that we want. Though I wouldn't mind more mana. We'll go ahead and pop it off now for the same reason that I did last game. Just... Don't want to get hit by that. Trickstering it up. What do they have? Counterspell, counterspell. Bounce a thing in this. Probably taking one of the counterspells. Taking one of the counter cells, I'm taking this one. It's better. Definitely want that. This gives us a chance to uh, potentially get the Dragon Hordes down, which feels nice. 
I guess they drew a counterspell. Counterspell or another trickster because they didn't cast their herald that we know about. That's just odd to me. Why didn't they play the herald? Just holding that mana up? I'm confused by that. We know they have at least one counter spell for this. So they have an unknown and they have a herald. Hey, aggro, long time. Right, well, we're going to smash this for sure and then we're going to untap and ritual. How have you been doing? I thought you were going to try to do the, like, big, giant year stream. Where, where have you been? I've not saw you streaming much. I think I saw you stream once recently, but you've been MIA, my friend. Hopefully they don't have another counter spell. Alright, well, never mind. They're done. Ritual Suit's a pretty good magic card. All right, well, I'd like to point out we've not lost a game since Lars showed up, and I didn't win very much when he when he wasn't here, but we've at least acquired a pity chest, and we're playing for the 4-1, which is pretty sweet. How do you sideboard versus black-green? Uh, I'm not going to keep a one-land hand. This hand's fine. I like all of these magic cards. Mm, we'll keep discard that versus a blind opponent. Family med Oh wow, that sucks. Is your is your brother okay? Man, I hope uh hope he's recovering well. I hate to hear that. Ugh, that's just terrible. I'm just really sorry, man. Now, I'm going to ask Lars's opinion on this. My, In my personal opinion, any damn time I see an Electromancer, I want to kill it. Wow, Christmas morning. I'm I'm glad he's up though. Man, that sucks. Like I really want to kill this Electromancer. I hope he recovers. I hope he recovers for you, man. Hope it's speedy and that doesn't uh, cause too many issues. the 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 main reason I was hesitant about killing that is because if they just play a Drake, we don't have another answer. But like I typically kill I. I respect this card to a point to where I'm absolutely terrified of it, and I kill it probably more often than I should. Like, I really feel like I kill that card way more often than I should. There's almost, it's almost no point that I ever leave it alive. I'm going to discard a card. I think I'm going to go ahead and discard the extra Sarkin. Well, if he doesn't have double burn spell or a way to get double phoenix back, we get to kick this on turn five? That's pretty neat. Nice. This guy's coming out to play. I don't I don't know if I've kicked this before. This is gonna be a weird feeling. I definitely don't know if I've ever kicked this before.
Is this what it feels like to play with Broodmate Dragon? Because that was the year I got sick and I didn't get to, I didn't get to play the cool cards. That was the year I couldn't leave my house and didn't want to get up and play Moto or anything because I was so sick. <laughs> this is just fun. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. Stupid lava coil is able to kill half my half half my friend. It's kind of interesting because this dragon just looks noble, and this dragon looks ornery as heck. Like he's he's ready to go bite some folk. This one just wants to chill back and rock. It's like yeah, I'm just gonna set up here on the top of this peak, doing my thing. Eek. <laughs> Eek. If I block, they can shock. So I can block here, they can shock and kill this, or I can just let them deal damage and they can shock and kill that. I think I would rather have my Sarkin. So I'm pretty sure I'm blocking. Because if we keep the Sarkin, we can play both of these spells next turn. It's just not blocking lava coil of that, but I guess I'll take the five. Then I'll probably lava coil that. Anything to try to keep Sarkin alive? They have five cards in hand. I thought things were going super well for us, and then, uh,. I paid seven mana to get two four fours, and they paid two mana to kill my four four and get their own four four. That sucked. Oh boy, did that suck. That was sweet though. It was sweet, but it sucked. Ooh, that card's neat. So make sure we get red this time. So red, red. Blue, blue, red, blue. Am I supposed to attack? I kind of don't want to attack. If I attack and they have a beacon boat or something, they can kill Sarkin. <laughs> I think with Sarkin at 7, I'm doing anything I can to hopefully Sarkin not die. This is worth two points of damage onto that, which is nice. They got a second Arclight Phoenix there. They have to play a bunch of spells to get those Arclight Phoenixes back, though. Hopefully whatever it is costs two mana. I 
Oh, neat. Well, I guess they're going to scoot. <laughs> they, in fact, scooped. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> they, they did all that, and I was just like, right, well, I guess they're going to give up. They're like, all right, we give up. <laughs> I guess it's because they have to attack this, and if they don't attack this... Like, I don't have to block or anything, so the odds of them being alive seem next to none. Yeah, whatever. Move into the next game. Um, I think we want this. I think we want this. Uh, in general, I don't think I want these. Set those over like that. Um... Disdainful Strokes are good versus Crackling Drakes, but that's about it. Sometimes Rouse. Spell Pierces could be okay. I could definitely see myself wanting Spell Pierces. Um, I don't want Thieves. I'm trying to decide how many Sarkins I want, and I kind of feel like I don't even want Sarkins. Maybe I don't want Variks. <laughs> if they're going to have entrancing melodies, then maybe I'm too afraid to play Variks. Uh, Ritual's really bad? That's fair. They have Enigma Drakes and stuff. But Sarkin is pretty good. So I have no, no feel for this match at all. The Eldest Reborns are insane if they're playing the Niv-Mizzet builds. But most of the Phoenix builds I've played versus lately aren't on Niv-Mizzet. They've all been on, like, Murmuring Mystic and no Niv-Mizzets at all. Which is why I was, like, kind of not wanting that. Again, I don't think the Demanding Dragons are great here. I think just being able to play this on 4... It's better than playing this on five. But I could be wrong about that. Cut a horde and a demanding. Alright. I'm in for one of each of those then. Of course, I guess all my four fours do die to their lava coils. And they find their lava coils pretty quickly. I guess I'm going to keep this. I don't really want to go to five. Just mulligan that to the bottom. Thanks, Moto. Phoenix already. That's not a good sign. Our hand's pretty good, though. Please, no spell pierce dragon horde. They've already found a beacon boat this game as well. So I'm just going to cast a new visit. Yeah, I can't. That, that's one of the things that really made me want to try this build. Like, I wanted to play it another time before we had the Sweet Lands. Well, if they're discarding a chart to course that... Frightens me. I'm just going to cast this. I think it uses the mana a little bit better. And casting the first Niv Miz, it usually feels kind of good. They probably have to spend at least two spells to kill it.
JK, they have fought with fire. Oh, that's actually kind of a neat draw. I assume we're going to get Phoenix this turn, no. No, we're not going to get Phoenix this turn. Uh, I want to use this, but it's probably safer just to do this. This is just a 5-5. Five five. Kind of worried about them having their own niv mizzet so I feel like I need to check their hand with the fault erasure and then make decisions. They have another row and a lava coil. Can't just play this for one, can I? It dies a million different ways. Yeah, I'm just going to pass. I don't know if I play it this turn, I get to draw an additional card next turn. I think, I, I think I've talked myself into playing it now. Actually, I'm not going to play it. That's the reason I'm not going to play it, I think. Uh, uh, they had a radical idea, so they got it anyway. That's bad for us. Think we're just dead on board then. Unless we draw something. Well, that's something. Probably buys us the most amount of time possible. I'm going to draw another card now. Play this card. Start a mountain. Boo. Ooh, that's kind of neat. So take an attack for a million. We're technically not dead next turn. If we play this, we're dead on board to that, so... Could just play this and make him spend his mana. Still draw a card. Well, I guess let's start with this. That way I have the spell pierce up in case he has a dive down. Right, well, I don't die to the board this way.
I kind of want to play this. I don't really want to go down to two. If I go down to two, I'm dead on the following turn anyway. Unless I hit something. So I think I have to play it. Not draw, won't draw the card until the end of his turn, just in case he draws a fight with fire and tries to kick it and kill me or whatever. Uh, they have another lava coil. And they have a uh, beacon boat still in the grave. Well, we're dead. Might as well look at two more cards out of his hand. I guess we're not dead dead. We can... Get a contempt still. Forgot about being able to hit a contempt for a second. Or we can hit another four drop dragon. Hey, they did have a fight with fire. They didn't have close to enough mana to use it. Alright. Well, we're dead, but we get to see the card they jump start, so we might as well look. Maybe they'll draw, or maybe they'll use like three card draw spells or something and then us be able to spell pierce it. They did not. <laughs> Alright, so we're dead. Hey, cow. Is it bad that I want the Demanding Dragon back just because it doesn't die to Lava Coil? Not, not dying to Lava Coil feels strong to me. Hope you're having a good morning. Yeah, I, I personally don't love these Eldest Reborns. I guess he did show us two Rowls. So that makes the Reborns better than I would have expected. It's pretty hard for me to get a Rowl in his graveyard, though. Meh. I have Niv Mizzets. I don't think I'm going to change anything. I think I'd be more apt to bring the Dragon's Horde in than to bring the Demanding Dragon in. Yeah, I'm just going to submit. I like we were close that game. What does this hand have to offer for us? One basic land. Well, that's not good enough. Alright. Looks like we're keeping this one. They mulliganed as well, but our hand does actual nothing. It kills an Electromancer, or... Certainly going to keep that. Especially when they've mulliganed.
No spell pierce? Uh, I think Charter Course is the best card there. We already had the crackdown, so I was figuring we could just kill it like that. I kind of don't want this. Maybe it's better than nothing. There's a good chance that next turn I'm taking off to use a cast down, though. I'm going to leave it on top. I don't think I can risk getting rid of it. Hmm. It draws a card off the horde in two turns, though. I guess you're right. I was just worried about not drawing another four drop. By the way, hey Chris, what's up? I've not saw you in a while. Hope you're having a good day. Hey, we helped them. They didn't offer to trade. Kind of scares me. Uh, I don't want to just die to Niv Mizzet. So I think I'm going to pass. I always do what Lars says. I'm definitely not offering to trade. I kind of wanted to keep the contempt back. That way I had the ability to kill a niv Miz at the end of his turn or something. Yeah, I really don't want to block. Well, I guess I'm trying to get to the lone game, so blocking seems fine. Especially when we're drawing an extra card to start. I 
they put in their graveyard? Mountain. Oh, they missed. How fortunate. This route, we do have the four Reborns. I kind of forgot about those. That's a good card. That is a good card. Bye, friends. You'll be missed. Oh. I could, could have cycled Pierce. I just want to pierce this, don't I? I think I just want to pierce that. I don't want him getting back a thing this turn. I think it makes it a lot harder. One, two, three, four. Am I ever supposed to cast an Eldest Reborn into an empty board? Because I feel like I want to. Like, I really want to cast this Eldest Reborn. He has uh, one beacon boat to kill this thing. But if he kills it, if we play it like this, we get to a spot where we can buy the Reborn, or buy the Nicobolus back, flip the Nicobolus, get the Niv-Mizzet all in the same turn. Alright, they're done. Hey, we 4 one So we pretty much crushed it when uh, Basis got here, and we lost before he got here. Lost to Golgari here. Yeah, it took, I think it would have taken, like, some fight with fire, like, multiple fight with fires, or, like, just some ridiculousness to get back from there. I still like this deck. I think this deck is a lot stronger than people give it credit for. I don't love the Demanding Dragons. Felt like I never really wanted them, except for when I was, like, wanting to play around Lava Coil. I mean, it doesn't feel bad. I've played it on stream twice, and I forewarned with it both times, and you can see that I'm... Not a particularly good magic player. And uh Lar this is uh this is basis deck. He's got a couple five O's with it, but like I think the mana's kind of bad. I think. Like it's it's okay, but it's not it's not great. But it it feels pretty strong. I've enjoyed it. Like I've not I've never really felt like the deck didn't wasn't competitive it's always felt competitive to me in all the matches i played even the matches i've lost you know like assuming i didn't mulligan or have like some kind of crazy mana issue like all the games felt close and most of them felt winnable if i made better decisions but i, I kind of really like it let me be pretty excited for us to get the additional lands yeah, blood, blood, blood Crip will be nice. Getting the Cinder Barons out of the deck will be sweet. 
Uh, maybe getting the unclaimed territories out of the deck would be cool. Though I got to be honest, I, do, I don't think I don't think the unclaimed territories have ever been an issue for me yet. I've actually cut Niv Mizzet completely from my control decks. I don't even run them in the sideboard of my Jeskai deck anymore. Cause like I was, I don't, I don't like Niv Mizzet in control decks versus Golgari, and I don't really like them um, versus pure aggro in a control deck. Cause I feel pretty favored versus the pure aggro decks anyway, and I don't feel like I need that way to close a game. I feel like Lyra is a better way to close a game versus them. So like I was only bringing it in versus other Jeskai decks for the most part. And then, like, the other Jeskai decks, you always had to have the weird dance with Teferi being able to tuck and stuff like that, which made me want to play more spell pierces and more dive downs than I really wanted in my 75. So, like, ever since I stopped playing Treasure Map in the main deck of Jeskai, like, I've not really liked Niv-Mizzet anymore. And I'm probably wrong. Everybody says I'm wrong. But on a personal level, I still like Search for Ascanta. Uh, I'm willing to be wrong. Like, Adrian Sullivan proved that Jeskai with uh, treasure maps does well, but uh, for me personally, I've had more luck with the Ascantis, because, like, the Ascantis come down on turn two, and you get your value the entire game, but, like, the treasure maps, if they come down on turn two and you need to use, you know, an Ionize on three, or a Settle on four, or... You know, maybe a Cleansing Nova on 5, or just whatever. Or, like, maybe you're missing your land drops, and you have to scry every turn to try to hit your land, and you can't play your spells. Like, that's cause, that's I've lost more games to that than I have from the treasures winning me games. But when you're hitting all your land drops, the treasure maps seem insane, but when you're stalling, they seem so bad to me. And, like, the Search for Ascantas just seem like they're a pretty above average card that can win games and control matches while like not being so punishing versus decks that you can't miss your land drops versus but i'm a novice player i'm not very good and i'll be 100 percent honest i'm absurdly biased towards search for ascanta hell my approach to the second sons had four search for ascantas in it between the main and the side because in all of my testing i found it just making sure i had search for ascanta on turn two was the best thing i could do in the mirror so I just had two additional ones in my sideboard to make sure that I increased my odds of drawing them as often as I could. But anyway, so that's going to do it for us tonight. Um, took about two hours. I've not slept. I've literally not slept since you guys saw me on Monday. Wait, this is Wednesday, right? Yeah, I have not slept since you since I streamed Monday. I tried to sleep yesterday, but real life drama, nobody cares. <laughs> but I've been awake, you know, going on like 38 hours. I don't know how I'm still awake. But take care, everybody, and thanks so much for stopping by. I'll be back tomorrow as always. Thanks again, Basis, for the help. <laughs>